Hello everyone, Danas here with Action VFX. In this quick tip tutorial, we are going to take a look at how to easily composite ground cracks elements in just few simple steps. We are going to be using our Action VFX ground crack collections, which you can purchase on our website. We have ground cracks volume 1 and ground cracks volume 2. Anyway, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so here is a plate that I will be using. This is just a still image that I got from pexels.com. First, we want to add our element. And for that, I will use this ground crack element from our ground cracks volume 1 collection. On our website, you can download either the MOV version or the EXR version of this file. So let's drag it into our comp. If your ground cracks orientation doesn't fit into the scene, you can turn it into a 3D layer and rotate it a bit. But for this one, the orientation is already looking pretty good. Okay, so now if we hit play, notice that at the end, the ground crack disappears. This is because the duration of this element is too short compared to the composition. So to extend our clip duration, we want to right click and freeze on last frame. And there we go, we have our duration extended. Next, let's pre-compose our ground crack and move all attributes. And then with this pre-composed layer, we want to finally blend our ground crack into the scene. To blend, we want to use one of these blending modes. The most common one to use is overlay. But you also have soft light, hard light, linear light, and vivid light, and some others that you can try out. Basically, you want to pick whichever you think fits the shot best. For this specific shot with this specific plate, I actually found using hard light produced the best result. Now, our element here has blended better, but we also have added a little bit of blue tint into our shot. So let's desaturate that blue by adding tint to our ground crack. And then if the scene between the ground cracks and our plate still too obvious, we can add curve and play around with the contrast of our element until it blends better into the scene. If you're enjoying this tutorial so far, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like this video because your support means a lot to us and we want to keep making cool tutorials like this one. And now let's go back to the video. Now, the texture on the ground looks like it's floating above the crack, and we want to fix that. We want this crossroad texture to collapse along with the ground crack. And there is a very simple trick to do that. First, you want to duplicate your ground crack pre-comp, and we want to delete the effects here except for the tint. And we want to rename this pre-comp to display source. And then we want to disable our layer view of our source layer here, and then create an adjustment layer. Put it just above the plate and then add displacement map. Then let's set our map layer here to our source and then set it to effects and mask. And then we're going to push in the horizontal and vertical displacement a little bit. And there we go. We have the texture of the street being displaced based on the color of our ground crack. Now let's add blur to our source layer and let's blur it just for two pixels just so we can get a little bit more smoother displacement. And this is what we have so far. One last thing, because we have the gravel texture of our element, we can see that our adjustment layer is displacing the texture even when the crack isn't there. So let's fix that by simply creating a mask on our adjustment layer, feather it, and then animate the mask path to follow the animation of the ground crack. So the displacement only affects the inside of the crack. And this is what we have. Now, if you download the multi-layer EXR version of the ground cracks, you will be provided with multiple layers hidden inside of the asset that you can access using Extractor. Each of these layers could help you with your compositing. To use this is very simple. You want two separate layers, one with the Extractor effects on top, and at the bottom is the one without the Extractor. And then on the one with the Extractor, we want to select, let's say, the ID channel. And the ID channel essentially color-coded the element into multiple objects. Like for example, the blue here represents the part of the ground that falls down. So then I can get something like a shift channel and use the blue color as the alpha channel. And then I could use this layer as a mat for color correction. For example, let's get an adjustment layer, put it just above the plate, and then let's add curve and play around with the curve a little bit. Then we want to alpha mat this adjustment layer to the layer that we had. So now we are only color correcting that area. 
And that is how you composite ground cracks in 5 minutes. We have other ground cracks tutorials that you can check out on our channel. Each of these tutorials goes into the deeper topics such as creating holes on the crack or tracking the crack into a moving scene. And once again, if you want to know where to get this ground cracks elements, you can check out our website at actionvfx.com. At Action VFX, we provide fast library of high quality VFX stock footage for your projects. From fire and smoke, energy effects and explosions, and many, many others. You can purchase them directly or sign up to our subscription starting at the low cost of $14.99 a month. This is the most affordable way to access our library, saving you at least 80% off, including our subscribers only free collections, and you can cancel anytime, no contract. Thank you so much for watching, I encourage you to drop a like, and let us know in the comment section below what kind of tutorials that you'd like to see next. But most of all, be sure to subscribe, we are aiming for 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And also, there are other resources on this channel such as other VFX tutorials, podcasts, VFX breakdowns, and many others. So be sure to check them out as well. Let us be your number one resource for visual effects. So, see you next time, bye bye.